Today marks the 50th anniversary of the Munich massacre, the darkest chapter in the Olympic story. Now, on this day, 11 members of the Israeli team were killed by Palestinian gunmen. Take a look. September 5th, 1972, eight men in track suits hopped the fence at Munich's Olympic village, carrying with them Kalashnikov rifles and grenades in duffel bags. An affiliate of the Palestine Liberation Organization. Their mission was to hold Israeli athletes hostage and demand the release of 236 prisoners. 234 in Israel and the two leaders of the West Group Bader Meinhof terrorist group. But the mission failed about 20 hours after it began. Five of the hostage takers were dead, along with 11 members of Israeli's Olympic team and a German policeman. American swimmer Mark Spitz reflects on the nine days in Munich that changed his life. At the 1972 Olympic Games, he won seven gold medals and broke seven world records. The day after his final gold, he was thrust into the unfolding tragedy of the Israeli hostage crisis. So I was thrust in a unique situation. In one sense, you know, was I a spokesperson for who, you know? To be a Jew, well, that's kind of an interesting position to put some pressure on somebody who's 22 years old. I wasn't a rabbi. I wasn't involved with uh, an expert uh, set of uh, tools and knowledge about a lot of things that basically answer questions in a, in, a, in a way that may have been expected of me. I did the best that I could at the time. It, it, today, it's still the same answer, which is it was a terrible tragedy for not only those athletes, uh, but for the Olympic movement and for the families in particular. Um, and we're still talking about it today. The Munich massacre of September 5th to 6th, 1972, left repercussions on an international scale. Waking up Western governments to the threat of terrorism, showing the power of live broadcast and setting the stage for future violence. A ceremony to mark the 50th anniversary will take place in Munich along with German and Israeli leaders. We will report Vion World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.